guys, this is Faye with Lost and Wandering. I filmed this video earlier, so that's why the lighting is different. But um, it's a video about my witchy haul from Ikea and a tour of my Samhain altar. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a like brand new, really good webcam. It's widescreened, and it's was really expensive, so hopefully, <laughs> it looks good. But um, and I can pick it up and I can use it. And my like my altar is like right over here on the wall. Um, but I'm worried about the sound because <sighs> this is my thing for sound. So I'm just gonna have to carry it all around with me so hold on all right it's right here <clears throat> so this is my Samhain altar um, I I use this for my not the things on it but I use this for the sage this one for my maven altar so it's a little and my full moon altar or my full moon uh, ritual so uh, but this is it right now I got this altar cloth a few years ago from uh, at a uh, metaphysical store called Ancient Mysteries in Austin, and um, with Charlie and I've had it and I've not like almost never used it until recently. Sorry if the camera's really shaky. Um, so this is also kind of a haul thing, but first I'm going to go over the things that I've always had. Or that I've had uh, since before I started doing started vlogging about my witchy life so these are my tarot cards they're really pretty this is the chariot um, I've told you guys that I'm thinking of doing a tarot uh, series on memorizing tarot and figuring out what the meanings are and tricks to figure them out um, and in that, I would show you a lot more of my um, tarot cards. The art's really beautiful, by the way. Anyways, um, this little bowl right here, my baby sister Mage uh, made that. Not necessarily for me, but she ended up giving it to me. She asked me if I wanted it, so I'm using it um, as my offering bowl because it's kind of folly to me um, um, it's got this symbol on the side which I think is supposed to be Japanese characters I don't know what it is supposed to be or what it's supposed to mean but I think it's something about like hearth and home or something um, this chalice I inherited from Charlie before she moved one of the million times she moved <laughs> so um, and I've been using it I might get a lot of new things here pretty soon um, this is my crystal ball my first one uh, and the only one I have right now <laughs> and it is um, what's called cherry quartz and I really 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 like it because it looks like a galaxy to me on the inside of a little crystal ball um, I haven't used it to scry or anything yet but hopefully I'm gonna study a little a lot of about scrying before Samhain and I'm gonna see if I can see if that's a divination process that um, I like at least with the crystal ball um, I also want to get a witch mirror a witch's mirror but this candlestick I got at um, Hobby Lobby I should have gotten two but I only have one so that's it's holding um, my spirit candle. This one's going to be lit from the beginning. Um, and then just to give it a little bit more Halloween, a little bit more of a Halloween feel, I'm going to have this little light, my lantern. You probably can't really see it light, uh, but there's a little light in there. And it's super cute. And it's very um, Halloween-y. Uh, this is where I'm going to I like stick incense right now because it's cheap and easy to light and you don't need a lot of supplies to use 
um, stick incense. You just light the tip and let it go. Um, but at some point I'll probably incorporate other incenses in my practice. Um, and so I'm going to go on to a bit of my haul in a minute. Well, yeah. Well, first, okay, these two candles I got at Ikea and they, they smell sort of like some sort of bark or something and they're black. So I'm using them as the male and female or male and female, whichever one you want, um, candles, um, on my altar. Um, this is my athame. I've had it. We, I got it at a, um, Celtic fair or something. Uh, Celtic festival is what it's called. Sorry. I'm, I woke up from a nap, um, not that long ago, so I'm still a little out of it, but I don't have a wand. Um, Charlie and I tried to make some once and I never finished mine. Also, I don't know where it is, so uh, I think I lost it in the move, but, um, uh, in theory, athames are more powerful or more, and I mean, according to some sources that I've read and watched, they say that athames are more powerful for focusing energy, but I don't know if that's true. It might be. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this is my altar. Um, also, I kind of want to go up a little bit above my altar. This painting, Charlie painted this for me, or not for me. She painted it um, for a project in high school. We were the Westwood Warriors, and we were Native American Warriors. And uh, she had to paint something for the school, and this is what she painted. And I bought it from her before we graduated. So yeah, and just for a little, um, this is my desk. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but like, I really like this. Uh, it was, my bed was arranged differently. Like that's my headboard over there. It was within the, um, curtains things here. Um, it's not anymore, but it's a really nice little, hold on. It's a really nice set up with my altar. I mean, this is my bed and it's not made. Please ignore it. Oscar's taking a nap. But yeah. <sighs> yep, this is my um, altar. I'm sorry if that was really shaky. Um, and I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me either. I'm probably going to have to redo that. But this is the mic I got. <sighs> Um, let me go on to my other, the other half of my witchy haul. Hold on. Okay, I'm like 90% sure that the weird smell in my, um, bedroom is, are these candles. And uh, now I'm 100% sure these candles smell like crap, but, um, they're just wax, but anyways. Um, yeah, so, uh, I kind of just before I tell you where I got these things, oh, and I already told you, I got, I went to Ikea, and I just want to reiterate that you can get anything that you need from anywhere. It doesn't matter if it looks too mundane, it can be witchy if you use it correctly. Anyways, old news, but I got these cute little jars, and they sit like, they sit like this, and they can like, you can, I wrote, this is Meadowsweet. Um, I've had these herbs for like a really long time, <laughs> but they've been in the containers that I got them in for such a long time. And I only had four of them. So I bought four little jars. And... Yep. So these are really cute. They're like, they, they're turned so you can like see them from like wherever you are. Um, but if you like the jar thing, they can just sit like that too. So they have two bottoms. Um, but yeah, so these are the, the herbs that I have. I've, I've had these forever, but this is Anis Star. Ugh, the glare on this is so terrible. Hold on. Anis Star. Um, Meadows Wheat, 
or Meadow Sweet, however you pronounce that. Elderflower and organic basil. A lot of these spices that we use in all magic, um, we can use year round. Uh, or no, yeah, we can use year, year round in our mundane life. So, yep, that's my little witchy haul. Well, also, this is the package of candles, which all smell like, like I said, they smell like crap. Mm. They're not really scented. They just smell waxy, but there's like this undertone. It says it's 100% steer, stearin, S-T-A-R-I-N. I don't know what that is, but it smells not bad, but just weird. Um, anyways, I thought it might've been the black candles that I told you, but they, that's not what it smells like. Anyways, yep, that's my little witchy haul. Thanks for watching my video about my witch, uh, witch haul from Ikea and my altar tour. If you liked my video, please like and subscribe. Um, also comment. I really, 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 really want to start conversations with you guys. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you guys soon. I love you guys. Uh, um, ew, what is that? Whatever.